Hi, so in the last video we saw how do you multiply the numbers from 5 to 10 and in reality the whole idea of doing that video was to give an idea of the method. Now you can see the power of that method to grow. You can see how it gets really interesting when you want to multiply numbers from 11 to 20. Now allow me to demonstrate this one over here. So let us say that I would like to multiply 13 by 12. 13 multiplied by 12. Now we are still going to follow the base method wherein we take the base 10. Okay, we will find out the base number which has 0 nearest to this. So in this case we can take 10 as our base. And earlier our numbers were less than 10. Here our numbers are more than 10. Okay, so in this case there is no deficiency but it is surplus that is this number is more than 10 so what I would simply write is 10 when added to 3 it becomes 13 10 when added to 3 so this is how I get this 13 similarly 10 when added to 2 we will get 12 so we got these two numbers over here now in order to get the results we proceed as we did the last time to get the number over here in the units place we multiply these two values the, uh, the the surplus values the plus 3 and plus 2 that we got after making this operation okay so 3 into 2 it gives me 6 now comes the interesting part so in the earlier case if you remember when we had a deficit we used to use a minus number but here it is a plus 2 so what we need to do is we simply need to add so we, we are going to add 13 plus 2 so that becomes 15 in fact you can also add these two numbers what you need to do is you need to do the addition you just need to follow the sign that is over here so 13 plus 2 is 15 or 12 plus 3 is 15 so if you combine your answer 13 into 2 to 12 that is 156 let us look at another example now we can do it a bit faster so let's say that we want to do as 12 multiplied by 11 okay I take my base as 10 this 12 is plus 2 more 11 is plus 1 more I keep my values over here 2 into 1 is 2 and 12 plus 1 is 13 so 132 is my answer you can even do this 11 plus 2 that also gives you 30. Now if you do your addition in the conventional way, let us see how many steps we will be doing here. So let us say that I want to multiply 12 by 11 and the way we would proceed is 1 into 2 is 2, 1 into 1 is 1, then we 1 into 2 is 2 and 1 into 1 is 1 and then we add this to get 132. So as you can see if you practice this properly, this is much faster than the conventional method of multiplication. Now again, if you observe these two examples, what we have seen is that there is no carry that happens here. So it could happen that when we multiply these two numbers, you could have more than one digit here. And in that case, we follow in the same way as we did in the first video. We just add the number to the numbers over here. So let us try to take an example where we can get some carry. For example, I want to find out 16 multiplied by 15. Now in order to do so, we will take base as 10. 16 is plus 6 more than 10. It is plus 5 more. And here we have 6 5s are 30. So you put the 0 over here, but you can put 3 like this to understand that this 3 is going to be carried over. Now 16 plus 5, you can simply add either this or this. So 16 plus 5, what you get is 21. And 21 plus 3. So this needs to go in and gets added to the units place over here. So 21 plus 3 becomes 24. So 240 is your answer. Okay. Other, another example that we can try very quickly is 18 into 12. Now just look at how fast you can go. You don't really need to write this 10 over here. Once you are comfortable, you can just write plus 8, plus 2, 8 2s are 16, 6 goes over here, 1, 
18 plus 2 is 20 so 20 plus 1 is 21 so you get 216 this is your answer now here are a few examples for you to try out why don't you grab a paper and pen and just try them out as I write the examples so that you can see that how quickly will Vedic mathematics help you to do calculations like this so let us say that you want to multiply 16 by 16 then you want to multiply 14 by 15 then you would like to multiply 18 by 19 then you would like to multiply 16 by 19 and you can also try out 19 by 19 so that was about using fast calculations to multiply numbers from 11 to 20 with the two cases so in the next video we will take a case where you want to multiply numbers from you know which are less than 10 and more than 10 that is you can have a mix of numbers so let let us say that you want to multiply numbers from 2 to 20 one of the number is less than 10 the other one is more than 10 how do you do that so that's where again we will modify our method to cover that scenario as well.